Welcome to the World Drone Market Channel. Today's video features a wiring tutorial for the Holy Bro 6X flight controller and the CRC7 remote controller. The Holy Bro Pixhawk 6X is the latest addition to the renowned Pixhawk family of flight controllers. It is built on the Pixhawk FMUV 6X Open Standard and the Pixhawk Autopilot Bus Standard, and comes pre-installed with PX4 Autopilot. The 6X features an STM32H753 processor by ST Microelectronics, paired with advanced sensors from Bosch and InvenSense, offering a perfect balance of flexibility and reliability for both academic and commercial autonomous applications. UniRC77 Pro is C's new generation of handheld ground stations designed for drones, vehicles, boats, and intelligent robots. It supports 2.45 GHz dual-band communication with a range of up to 40 km. With 4K 30 frames per second video decoding and up to 65 megabits per second transmission rate secured by AIS encryption. It features a 7-inch 1080p display with 1,600 nits of brightness, an innovative auxiliary joystick, six flight mode buttons, and a quick-release shoulder strap mount for field convenience. This video is divided into three parts. What products will be used in this test? How to wire it? How to display and connect with the ground station? What products will be used in this test? The products used in this test are Holy Bro 6X Flight Controller, CRC7 Remote Controller, 11.1V Battery. The cables used are Holy Bro 6X Power Module, RC7 Receiver Power Cable, RC7 S. Bus Cable, RC7 telemetry cable XT60 to JST adapter. How to wire it? RC7 receiver URT1 port connects to the Telem1 port on the Holy Bro 6X flight controller. URT1 uses a GH1.25 3-pin connector. Telem1 on the flight controller uses a GH1.25 6-pin connector. RC7S. Bus port connects to the RC port on the Holy Bro 6X. S. Bus uses a GH1.25 2 pin connector. RC port uses a DuPont 2.54 mm 3 pin connector. The battery connects to the Holy Bro 6X power module, which then powers the flight controller. The XT60 to JST adapter is used with the power module. Finally, power the RC7 receiver using the RC7 power cable, which has an XT30 connector on one end and a JST 2.54 on the other. How to display and connect with the ground station. Using UniGS. Open UniGS. Click the top right settings icon, go to remote controller settings. 
Under Data Connection, set Data Link 1 to UDP and baud rate 1 to 57,600. If the ground station doesn't automatically connect, go to the Flight Controller page and set the connection method to UDP client. If required, input the IP address. 192.168.144.20.19856 Once connected, you can view and configure flight controller data. In the radio calibration page, you'll see that the S-Dot bus channel is working correctly. Back on the flight page, the top left panel shows vibration data for the XYZ axis. The central black disk displays real-time flight controller status. Tap the arrow button to initiate auto takeoff. The top right shows the battery level. Using Q ground control, open QGC. Go to Application Settings Communication Links and click Add. Give the link a name. Set type to UDP, port to 0. And the address to 192.168.144.20.19856 Click Add Address, then click OK. Back in the Communication Links list, select your newly created link and click Connect. In the flight view, you will now see that the flight controller is connected to the ground station. Moving the flight controller will reflect real-time motion data. Click the battery icon to view battery status. Click Settings Radio to confirm S. Bus input is detected via stick movement. This concludes our wiring tutorial for the Holy Bro 6X flight controller and the CRC7 remote controller. Thank you for watching and supporting the World Drone Market channel. If you have any questions about this video, or if there's a specific section you'd like us to dive deeper into in future content, feel free to leave a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, we'll continue bringing you more drone product reviews, tutorials and practical guides. See you in the next video.